Welcome to my channel and in this video we are going to connect our Microsoft Visual Basic .NET application to our Microsoft SQL Server database. So the first thing to do is we are going to create a database using Microsoft SQL Server. So let's launch our uh, SQL Server Management Studios Express. So I'm going I am using um SQL Server 2014 version. Okay. So this is the compatible version in Windows 10. And of course, you can also use higher version of Microsoft SQL Server. So in the server name, make sure to select the correct server name. So you can just click here. You can browse it here, browse for more, and then just go to database engine and select the um, desired in database instance. Okay. So just click connect. So in this um, panel, we are going to create our um, database. So let's try to create DB I teach. Okay, so DB I teach. Okay. So the owner. Okay, you should set this one to SA. Can, you can just um, uh, browse it here and then you for SA okay. and then just click create just click OK to create the database now we have already our database here okay. and then let's try to create um, table for users so tables and then let's create a table and then we have the ID we have also name of the user or the full name of the user then we have the username I just make this one um, lower case the full name and then we have the password keyword so in here we'll use int and then we will set this one to um, auto increment so just go to is identity is identity specification just click it just uh, select yes okay so it will start from one and it will um, increment by one also okay so you can set this one to 101 so it will start from 101 and then it will add um, uh, it will increase by one in every record okay so for the f name we have varkar 100 for username we have varkar uh, 20 keyword varkar 20 so we should not allow null values then we will say this one so tbl um, users and we will set this as the primary key okay. let's save our table so now let's go, um, let's proceed to our um, visual basic dot net okay so let's open or let's launch Microsoft Visual Studio 2008 so I am using the 2008 version but you can also use higher version okay so let's let's create new project make sure to create Windows and then Windows application so I teach demo and then click OK so before we proceed we will save first our project save so I will just save it in drive D so just click save okay so we are going to create 
want to add new module in our project so let's right click here and then add module okay so the name of our module is um, connection connection let's click add so we have here so we're going to declare a variable public um, str con as string and then the value so we have the provider so this is now our connection of our Microsoft db.net to our MS SQL server database provider so we are going to use SQL only db provider Okay, and then we are going to separate our um, we, will, we are going to divide our statement or our connection okay, with multiple uh, multi with multiple lines so you just use the ampersand and uh, the underscore okay we also have the integrated security And then we are going to set the initial catalog. So this is our database name. Okay, so if we check it in our in our SQL server, our database name is dbitch. Okay. dbitch. dbitch. And then the server name okay our data source is this one so as you can see here I teach backslash SQL server underscore CS so to copy this one you can just click this one okay, and this one so you can see this during um, log in to your SQL server um, environment so just copy and put it here so that's it let's put space here okay so now we're going to declare a function and then we will call this function later in our um, project if you want to insert update delete or even select records from your database you will just call this function okay so public and then function we will name our function as fill data grid and then vival This is also a variable SQL a string as a string and then vival sorry vival my data grid vival my data grid as data grid view okay so next is we are going to declare a variable dim only db connection only db con 
as new OLED DB connection so we are going to get this one the SDR cone here we will put it here as our connection and then we will declare uh, an adapter OLED adapter as new OLED DB dot OLED um, data adapter and then dim might data set as new data set there and then we are going to open the connection OLED DB cone that open okay so let's try to do this one OLED DB adapter that select command equals new OLED DB that OLED DB command so later on in our program or in our in the in our uh, application we are going to fill this with SQL string and of course we will get the connection later on so we are going to put the SQL string here so always remember in here we are putting two parameters the SQL string and the data grid view so in our code later we will use two also we have the SQL string and data grid view okay so you should follow our videos okay our video tutorials so SQL string and then our OLED DB cone okay. so this one okay we use this variable here and then we have the OLED DB adapter OLED adapter dot fill and then my data set my data grid so we'll use this one data grid here dot data source so the value of our data grid would come from our table okay from our database my data set dot tables and then after connecting okay we are going to close our connection okay so OLED DB dot close OLED adapter dot dispose and then my data set dot dispose and then return zero okay so you will only do this once in your entire application okay so after this one okay we will try to retrieve the records from our table which is tbl um, users okay so in here let's rename this one into uh, frm rl users frm rl users okay so let's add data grid view let's add data grid view data grid view okay so there yeah. so upon loading of this form the record should be displayed here in the data grid view okay so in the load event of this form we're going to use the field data grid this one so if you remember this one the field data grid here this function so we are going to use this function having two parameters we have the sql string and the data grid view okay so the name of this data grid view okay i will, will go back to the design view but this data grid view is dg users okay dg users so in the load event you're going to use the first parameter is the sql string so let's put the sql string here 
select asterisk from TBL users. Okay, and the next parameter is our data grid view. So as if you can remember here, okay, SQL string and then data grid view. Okay, so let's try to uh, save and run our um, sample application. There, if you can see here, it shows the the records in our table. It only shows the columns since there are no records yet in our table. So let's try to um, insert records. So edit. Let's try to insert records. So example. Um, and then Jake. And then sample 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So let's go back to our application. I will close this one. And then I will run our application again. There. You can see here, we have already um, one record. Okay. This, so this is our record from our database. Okay. So that's our um, connection of our Microsoft SQL Server and our Visual Basic .NET application. In the next video, I'm going to demonstrate how to insert, update, and delete records from our database. So that's all for this video. And please do, don't forget to subscribe in my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye.